Ben, what do you think about Trump? Some people say he's starting to go sideways. All I know is people use that as an excuse to not be politically active themselves. I mean, I'm not here to defend Trump. All I know is is that uh, it's like the forces of Mordor have marched out of hell. When I, when I first started supporting Trump, um, I drew a cartoon of him pulling the plug on the swamp. And I had a big giant looming Trump yanking out the plug and I, and I had all, the, all those vile characters swirling down the drain. Um, but then after he's elected, I realized that I, I have to draw something to illustrate the swamp a little better than that because the swamp is much vaster and deeper that even I had realized it's not going to be drained instantly. And let's face it, this, this swamp has been building up since uh, Eisenhower warned us about, about the deep state, uh, you know, 60 years ago, uh, more than that. So, it, and, and Kennedy tried to fight against the deep state swamp and they whacked him. So uh, over a period of time, this swamp has, has just grown immense and, and it's not going to be, it's not going to be solved with a snap of the fingers. And, and I think Trump is starting to realize that. So at the very least, what he what he's doing, I think, is he's going to try to um, divert some of these military funds into building a wall and, and what I hope is a military tribunal. Because um, our republic demands, our republic is, is not, this is not a democracy, our republic is based on law. It's not based on men and their capriciousness, it's based on law, which should be equally applied to everyone. And that mostly, most critical person that it should be applied to, in my opinion, is Hillary Clinton. And she really needs to be locked up. So if we can, that's because she's almost becoming a symbol now. And if you can't lock her up, then you know that the, the deep state swamp is still in charge.